So, why are you here today? Uh, well, I'm here to show our support for the SFSU. Uh, Supporters Direct Europe have been working with the SFSU since 2008. Um, so it's just good to be here and show our support, listen to what the, the groups and the members have been doing, and also to talk about a little bit uh, about what we've been up to. Yeah, what do you do in Supporters Direct? So we're an organisation that promotes the member-run model of club ownership, and we also uh, implement the Supporters Liaison Officer requirement uh, on behalf of UEFA in, in their competitions. So lots of good practice in Sweden, both in terms of the way clubs are structured and the way supporters are involved, and also uh, the SLO project as well. So how is it to be here? Yeah, it's, it's great. Um, you know, I think that particularly on the, the SLO side of things, um, the project started in, in 2010, um, and the work that's being done here in Sweden is a real real example for other, other European countries to follow. And also, referring to the rest of the work that we do, here you have you know really strong democratic structures throughout all the clubs, which is, again, something that we, we really believe is very important. Yeah, the SLO uh, works here in, in Sweden. Why is it so good? Well, I think it's it's a combination of factors. You have clubs that are willing to listen uh, to the supporters. You have uh, a league and a federation that are very supportive of the project. And you also have really well-established supporter organisations, both on the national level with the SFSU and then on the local level with, with all of their, their member groups as well. So all the, all the relevant actors are really interested and really believe in the project and really want to make it work. So I think that's why it's been so successful. What do you think about uh, the situation overall uh, for the supporters here in Sweden? Well, look, listen, no, no country is perfect, and ov obviously it's not a, it's not a paradise. But um, you know, we we work in countries where the views of supporters aren't taken into account at all. Um, so, obviously, compared to those, uh, Sweden is, is is a good place. But you know, it's really important for supporters and organisations like the SFSU to continue to to work to preserve what they have uh, because as we saw a few years ago with the campaign to remove the 50 plus 1 rule there are some people that would uh, that would like to change the way swedish football is structured